you know, we used to be a very interactive store, you know, you taste cheeses, we have a taste of other things, you know, we we're always like working with customers to get them what they're looking for. And now, you know, we have to use that trust that we've built up with our customers to just be like, you're going to like this. Here you go. This is what we've got for you. Kind of a different experience, but, um, you know, making it work. At a time in which people are separated more than ever, three entrepreneurs have come together to produce a picnic package. Cheese from the Cheese Shop of Portland, handmade crackers from Mill Cove Baking Company, and something to sip on from 1820 Wines, available for pickup or delivery. We needed to close our tasting room, so we, like lots of other people in the area, um, moved to kind of a, a to-go take out um, and then now we added a delivery service to try and promote people staying home but I just I think like everyone else I'm just so emotionally impacted by this that um, it was just something I thought we could do to maybe like deliver a little bit of like happiness or joy or something people can share with their friends or family or an activity or something to look forward to. Amanda, you mentioned um, some of the variety of people who've been ordering these little packs of crackers, cheese, and wine. Who have you been selling to? The first day we sold to, it was a lot of people who uh, we see in the tasting room a lot. So a lot of our, our regulars and friends and family, which was nice. Um, and then now we're starting to see like groups of orders of people who I think feel similar to me and would really like to share something or, or make an experience out of it. So uh, yeah, we had an order today of uh, one woman ordered five different single packs and is, is sending them to all of her friends and tonight they're going to do a virtual wine cheese and cracker tasting and have a little mom's night out in which um which just really made me happy that was kind of what i would i would have dreamed would happen so it's super cute nina you mentioned that there have been other people reaching out about collaborations and there's just been so much support what have you seen um it's pretty amazing so 